Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be talking about a topic which is really important when using strobes and especially when you, you are starting using the strobes. So I will be talking about the exposure triangle and actually when using the strobe, when using strobes, it's not a triangle anymore. So stay with me until the end, we are starting right now. When we're taking pictures, when we're doing photography, very often I guess you hear the word exposure triangle. And it's a very important word, it's a very important thing which, which is a basic photography thing. The exposure triangle is the aperture, shutter speed and ISO, sensitivity to light. So let's go and see these things just really briefly now. Shutter speed, well shutter speed controls how long your, your shutter is open and how long light is going to be coming into your sensor. So the longer it is, the more light is going to be coming and the brighter your picture it is. And the shorter it is, the less light is going to come through your shutter. Aperture controls how much your camera lens will open and, get, and gather light. The, the more wider it is, the more light is going to gather. The smaller it is, the less light is going to gather. The next thing is ISO. It how your camera feels the light around you. If your camera, if you make your camera really sensitive to light, you're going to be able to shoot in really dark conditions. If it's really bright like it is today here, you don't need to make your camera that much sensitive. So you can keep your ISO low, low sensitivity to the light. And you can keep it like 100 and still get really bright pictures. If you increase your ISO quite a lot, you have the disadvantage of getting noise in your photos. But let's leave the talk about shutter speed, aperture and ISO for a different video because this video will be about something different. To summarize these three things, shutter speed, aperture and ISO, they control the general exposure of your pictures. If you change the shutter speed, you change the general exposure of your picture. If you change the aperture, you change the exposure of your picture. If you make your shutter speed faster and, and you open your aperture to the same amount, you're gonna get the same exposure. So by changing one of these things you, and changing the other of these elements, you can do very different creative things. The exposure triangle controls your general exposure. But when we're using strobes, the exposure triangle is already different. You cannot control your picture only by thinking about the exposure triangle. When using strobes, it's not a triangle anymore because we are already having five elements. When using strobes, we have two more elements that influence your exposure. And here they are. When using strobes, we are not already having just the general exposure of your picture because it's now separated into basically two things. One is the general exposure of your picture, of course, and the other thing is the exposure of the part of your picture which is lit by the strobes. So we have the natural light and we have the strobe light. And when using strobes, this balance between the natural light and the strobe light, this is what controls your general picture, your general balance of the picture. And you can change your general balance by getting more natural light, in your picture and balancing it to the strobe light or you can kill all the natural light in the picture and just get strobe light and get more dramatic pictures. This balance changed the whole image of your pictures. So let's go again to the aperture. Aperture, does it control the natural light? Yeah, it does. It controls all the ambient light. It also controls the power of your flash which reach your subject. If you change the aperture, you change the flash exposure and you change the natural light, you change both. The same thing is about the ISO. When you change the ISO, you change the whole exposure of your ambient light and you also change the exposure of your subject. You're changing both. You're changing the natural light and you're changing the exposure of your subject. Let's go to the shutter speed. When you change the shutter speed, yeah, you change the natural light and you change all the ambient light but do you change the exposure of your subject? No. So here is one of the different things. When changing your shutter speed, you control the natural light without affecting the exposure of your subject, the exposure of the area which is lit by the strobe. So the shutter speed is changing the ambient light. So yeah, if for example, you decided the exposure of your subject, 
and then you just want to tweak how it links to the ambient light. You can just change your shutter speed and your subject exposure will not change. Your subject will be the same, but you can control how much ambient light you leave for the background, how much of the background of the blue skies you want in your picture. If you just make your shutter speed faster, you're gonna get much darker and dramatic background. If you get your shutter speed a little bit slower, you're gonna get much brighter background. So let's move to the next two elements, which are valid when using strobes. First, the flash power. When you change the flash power, yeah, you change the exposure of the area which is lit by your strobe, but does that change the natural light? Not at all. When changing the flash power, you can control flash to subject distance. When you change your flash to subject distance by leaving the flash power the same, you can change how much light reach your subject without affecting the natural light at all. And another thing you need to keep in mind when changing the flash to subject distance is that, for example, if you decided to use an umbrella or if you decided to use a softbox for your picture, if you change the flash to subject distance, you're changing the amount of light that reach your subject, but you are also changing the quality of light that reach your subject. For example, if you have this big umbrella and you move this umbrella further away from your subject, in relation to your subject, this umbrella is already becoming much smaller and smaller light source. So you're really changing the quality of this light. If you just change the power too much and get the same exposure like if it was closer to your subject, you are already getting much different light. So let's summarize again all the five elements which are important when using strobes. First, the aperture. Aperture controls both the ambient light of your picture and the area which is lit by your strobe. The same is for ISO. If you change the ISO, you change the exposure of the natural light, the ambient light in your picture, and you also change the exposure of the strobe lit area. Shutter speed is different. When you change your shutter speed, you do not change the exposure of the strobe lit area. You're only changing the natural light in your picture. Aperture and ISO control the flash exposure and the natural light. Shutter speed controls only the natural light. And the last two elements, they control only the flash exposure. Flash to subject distance and flash power. If you change your flash power, you're not influencing at all the ambient light in your picture. You are only changing the flash exposure which reach your subject. And when you change the flash to subject distance, the same thing. You do not change the exposure of your ambient light, you just change the exposure of your subject which is lit by strobe. Okay, I hope you find this video useful and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment and I will try to reply all of your questions. If this is the first time for you to see my YouTube channel, you may consider subscribing because from now on I will also be uploading quite a lot of videos related to photography and related to the way I am taking my pictures. So I hope to see you in my next video as well. Thanks for watching this video until the end. Bye bye.